Uh, I didn't really expect it to be this difficult three days in, since it's three days in. But I guess doing any and everything is difficult during a global pandemic when you are a person with a lot of anxiety and depression. The, the, the concept of doing anything today sounds so exhausting. A level of exhausting that I don't even have words for it at, at this juncture. I don't want to write anything, I don't want to make anything, I, I just, I just want to sit <laughs> and rock myself and listen to The Adventures on Graduation Arc again, because I just keep re-listening to it, because it's very good, but also I, I don't want to listen to any of the other uh, actual play D&D podcasts because this one is my comfort hyperfixation right now. Thank you very much. I know this is an understatement, uh, but this absolutely blows. Like, I, I try to be optimistic and full of hope, and I am. I know it'll get better, and I know it's gonna be bad before it does, but it's really hard to live through all of this. Every day you, you worry what the thing is going to be that happens, and you, you try to live your life as best you can, because you're still alive, and you still have goals and hopes and, and dreams and the need for human connection, basic human rights, but I went to the farmer. Even my camera battery needed a break from my ramblings. That's fun. Where was I? Farmer's market. I went for the first time since last year because I didn't go to the winter one that they hold indoors. I just wanted something to feel normal. Or at least familiar. You know, I, I don't, I don't go out to eat at restaurants, I, I try not to congregate around, around large groups of people, I, I, I try to remain socially distant, I, I try to do all the things that we're supposed to do, because, uh, you, you do, you just do. I, I just, I wanted to, I wanted to get out of my apartment, I wanted to put on a, a dress, I wanted to, to feel anything. Um, it was nice. Made a couple of friends, bought two, three bunches of flowers, and now I have bouquets in my room. I bought a bunch of food that I'm hoping I can find the motivation tomorrow to actually process and cook with and create with, so I didn't, you know, take food away from people who could have used it. I saw bubbles and I, I bought art and I, I went to a coffee shop. That was the first coffee shop I went to when we moved out here because it had been closed during all of this and I, I finally got to give them eight of my dollars. <laughs> and I feel bad. I mean, I, I, I was socially distant, I did everything that I was supposed to do, I, I was responsible, I, I, I wore my mask, I did everything, and, and I still feel bad. Every time I leave my apartment, I just feel bad. <laughs> I also feel gaslit. You know, we're, we're in the middle of a global pandemic, but there are people that just play soccer out in the park near my house. 
people or you see groups of people congregating out on the different lawns in my neighborhood. And I know that, you know, we're, we're social creatures and that to completely divest ourselves of community is, is social suicide, I guess, but it, it, it still feels bizarre when it doesn't, when it, when it feels, it feels like some people are craving normalcy so much that it doesn't really matter. I guess what all this rambling is, is coming to is I, um, the anxiety kind of, kind of won today. And the, and the worry won today. I, uh, I didn't really want to make a video. But I do remember that when I was 15 or 16, when I had my very first blog, because it's what you do. <laughs> I used to talk to my camera to feel less alone and to speak into existence what other people must have been feeling, I guess. So, for anyone watching who's scared and anxious and depressed and ordering way too much takeout and finding different ways to cope. I see you and I hear you. And this is the absolute pits, but we have each other, right? We have each other and we have art. And every day is a is a new chance. That I think I am going to... I don't know, I bought Animal Crossing and was so jazzed for months to have it and now I have it and I just don't... don't want to do anything because... depression. So, I don't know, I'll probably lay on my bed and watch TikToks or listen to the adventure zone or, I don't know, stare out the window. Um, in the comments, if you want, let me know how you're doing. Maybe, uh, maybe we can build some virtual community. Uh, this was a bit of a downer, but, um, have a good whenever it is, wherever you are. I'll see you tomorrow. And be kind to yourselves. None of this is easy.